Hi, welcome to Raw Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on the coordinate plane, equations of lines, graphs, all sorts of linear stuff. So this problem is kind of fun. It says let h and k be positive numbers such that h is less than k. In which quadrant is each point located? So when you read this, it can get really cerebral and you're reading it and thinking, I'm not sure what to do. I challenge you, pause, go through all of these, see what happens. The way I am personally going to do this is I'm going to make this a little more concrete. And by that, I mean, I'm going to assign numbers to H and K. I'm going to say H is equal to five and K is equal to 11. I choose two random numbers. Um, I try to steer clear of zero, one, two, because sometimes rules of zero, one and two work a little bit differently. In this case, it wouldn't matter, but I like to use numbers that are odd and a little bit bigger. As for quadrants, um, the quadrants on the coordinate plane go quadrant one, two, three, four. Why do they go in that order? Well, it has to do with navigating a ship on the ocean. Your boat can rotate 360 degrees, and so when they navigate, the positive x-axis becomes zero degrees, and as the navigation, the boat rotates, it goes through the first quadrant, then it swings into the second, and then the third and the fourth. So it all has to do with an angle starting in the positive X direction, heading up to the positive Y before heading to the negative X and negative Y and then swinging back up to the positive X. So HK would be 511 using our example, which is positive positive, that's the first quadrant. H negative K would be five negative 11. So positive X negative Y, that's gonna be the fourth quadrant. H minus K, that's gonna be five minus 11 comma 11. So this is gonna be negative six 11. So negative six, negative X, positive Y, that's gonna be the second quadrant. Here we have negative K, that's negative 11. H minus K, we just did that, five minus 11. So we have negative 11, negative six, negative, negative. We have our third quadrant. All right, over here we have 11 comma 11 minus five, that's 11, six. It's gonna be the first quadrant. Let's see, K minus H, we just did here, that's six. H minus K, that's negative six. Six, negative six is quadrant four. All right, see, that went a lot faster. You're all worried about this theory and how hard it's gonna be, but you just get in there, give it a little bit of concreteness, and it flows by pretty quickly. Okay, H zero and K zero lie on. So we have five zero and 11 zero, which is gonna be five zero and 11 zero. They lie on the X axis. They also lie on a horizontal line because this line looks like the horizon. So it is a horizontal line. Let's see, negative K H. So that's gonna be negative 11 five and negative K zero, that's negative 11, zero. If I plot those, I have negative 11, five, negative 11, zero. This is a vertical line. And we're done. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned something and got a little less afraid of these theory problems. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.